Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be continuing our economy plugin series. And in this episode, we're going to be setting up some getters and setters, and I'm going to show you guys how you can set and get into your database. Um, I think this is pretty important and we're gonna I know this is an economy plugin So you guys are probably wondering when are we gonna start learning about using economy and all that other stuff That'll be in the next video. We're going to set up vault in the next video But for this video, I think it's really important that we get the database completely out of the way So that way later on we already have these methods and everything all set and ready to go So that way when we are using the economy stuff, we already have all of these methods ready to be implemented So once again, all the code will be available for you guys on github so if you're having some troubles, just go over there and check it out. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do inside of our database here, if you haven't already made a collection called player data, go ahead and do that. So then what we're gonna do up in here is we're gonna say private, excuse me, private static Mongo collection. Mongo, and we're gonna call this player data. All right, so we have our collection for player data. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and create some getters and setters. So insert, getter setters, and Mongo collection. And we don't actually need this to be static. I don't, I don't know why I made that static. All right, so now that we have our getters and setters, we're gonna need to do a few things inside of here. So, the first thing, and most obviously, is going to be, well, getting some information. So these ones we can pretty much just leave right how they are. Those are just going to be the getters and setters for when we are going into this class and we need to reference, um, we need to get the player data. But now what we're going to make is we are going to make a set player data and a get player data. Now this is going to be different than what we just made. This is actually going to set and get information inside of the database while these ones that we just made are only just going to get this value for or get this player data value okay so we're gonna name it so that way it makes sense right so we're gonna say public void set document player data or you can do set data player data um, whatever you want mongodb works in uh, these json documents so it almost makes sense to just say set document player data or you can say set player player data document get player data document um, let's go ahead and say that let's say set player data document and now what we're gonna need for this is we're gonna go ahead and call an object and now the reason why we're calling an object is because we're not always going to be getting a string we're not always going to be getting a boolean we're not always going to be getting an integer so if we say object we can put anything inside of there and it's going to MongoDB will pretty much know what you're trying to get and it's going to retrieve said value and then we're gonna go ahead and say string value value is going to be what we're retrieving so say we had a player data for balance our value would be balance and object would be what we're setting so excuse me for that and then of course we're going to do everything with uuid so we're going to say string uuid so what we're going to say now is we're going to go ahead and call a document document equals a new document oops i think i got the wrong document we got to make sure we use a bson document not the, the java one there so we want this one down here bson so this is going to be a new document and we're going to go ahead and call uuid and then we're going to go ahead and throw in the uuid now you could make this um call for uuid i think it's just easier to call it as a string because if you try to use uuids in mongodb it distorts them and it doesn't print them out or it doesn't set them as regular uuids it puts it as weird characters or some random assortment that it's not a UUID. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and say BSON, and this is actually going to be um, B uppercase B lowercase S O N because it those two are different, and this is going to be called new value. So this is going to be the new value that we're putting in, which is going to be document our value, which is what we're trying to replace. So again, say we had balance, balance would be our value. And then we have our object, which is going to be our, our, um, the, uh, uh. so we're actually going to change the name of these because this doesn't really make sense here. So we're going to go ahead and say object is value. And this is going to be identifier. 
if I can spell. I think I spelled that wrong. Rename to identifier, yep. So the reason why we're gonna renaming these is because identifier is going to be like balance while the value is going to be our object and it makes much more sense to put it this way. So we're gonna say identifier and value. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and call another BSON and we'll say update operation. So now this is a little more complex um, when setting values. It's not, I guess it's not really complex. It's just you have to be paying attention to what you're doing here. So what we're going to say is we're going to call a new document again. We're going to do the dollar sign. And we're going to say set. So this is just really MongoDB syntax. Uh, and that's really about it. And then we're going to go ahead and set the new value inside of there. So basically what this is doing is it's saying we need to set this new value in our document. And this is our new value, which is going to be the identifier and then the new value that we're putting in. And then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and say player data update one. We want our document and then we want our update operation. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and grab a or make a get object. So this is going to return a value. So this is going to be a public object get player data document. And now this one is actually only going to require a string, which is going to be the I, oops, the identifier. And then the string UID and I think I spelled identifier wrong again. Oops, yep. One too many ends. And then this is just going to be UID. I still spelled it wrong again. No, it's just telling me that it's not used. Okay. So then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and say document document equals a new document. And this is going to be UUID. And then we're going to call for their UUID. Then we're going to go ahead and just say if player data dot find document dot first oops does not equal null. We're going to go ahead and cast this document to what's what we're going to call found. And then this is just going to be an instance of document and it's going to be player data find first. And now what you could do is you could just go ahead and cast this to search or you could just, um, yeah, you could cast this to uh, its own document here instead of doing it down here. All depends on how you want to do it. Uh, and then we're just going to go ahead and say return found dot get and then the value that we were looking for are the identifier. And then else we are just going to go ahead and say message manager dot console bad document is null for UUID. And then we'll just go ahead and say UUID. And then we're just going to go ahead and return null because that is not going to be doing anything for us. So, so now we have these all set up. It's going to tell us that this is never assigned um, and it's not because now what we need to do in our Mongo connect is we need to go ahead and say set player data. And this is going to be database.get collection. We're going to call it player data. Okay. So now we have set this. So obviously none of it's being used yet, but now we have these setters and getters for the next video, which is going to be important where we're actually going to be diving into setting up our economy plugin. This is going to be probably the lengthiest section, uh, probably going to split it into two just be or two videos for the next video, just because it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of repetitive work, sort of just copying and pasting uh, different values into the same spot. We're going to completely use um, everything inside of the API. But what we'll do first here is I actually just go ahead and show you what we have to do here. So let's just go ahead and make a new class. We're going to call this economy core and what this class is is it's going to basically hold all of our methods for economy so if we go ahead and implement methods you can see here all of these things that we have to fill out um, like I said like a lot of our repeats as you can see here there's four create player accounts it's just different ways that you can do it and if you're going to be making this a public plugin or a public economy plugin or with an open API, you're going to want to fill all these out because if somebody grabs this one and you leave nothing in there, it's going to throw them tons of errors 
and it's going to break their plugin or their server. So we're gonna make sure that we fill all these out. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.